Last spring, in 2023, we published a selection of major bridges under construction. It is the big ones. A year later, seven of the above selection have already been opened, and eight more are under construction. Let's see what is being built, where, and how. The bridge over the Tsver in the Leningrad region. It's already open. The construction of the facility cost 4.5 billion rubles. The bridge over the Tsver itself began to be built in 2020 by order of Len Aftador. The construction was planned to be completed by 1926, but in the process, the time was shortened by several years. The bridge over Fokhov, Karishi, Leningrad region is also open. The construction of the bridge began in 1920 with the reconstruction of engineering networks from the city and the construction of embankments. A temporary bridge was installed in the Fokhoff riverbed for the construction of supports. The crossing was originally planned to be completed in 1925, but the work was completed two years earlier, in 1923. A bridge across the Volga and Tver is under construction. It is already possible to walk along the western bridge from one bank of the Volga to the other. The slide on the left side of the bridge has been completed, and now it can be officially stated that the first span stretches from one bank of the Volga to the other. As the deputy general director tells about the progress of the work, I quote, At the moment all stages of the valve, have been completed at the main facility of our construction. All eight stages have been completed. The superstructure is located on all four pillars. It is prepared for lowering on the support part. We have also started work on the consolidation of the right-hand side of the Western Bridge, which is now in preparation for the first stage of the valve. In the next two weeks, the work on combining the superstructure blocks will be completed and the first stage of the superstructure will be completed. The next bridge over the Volga M11, bypassing Tver, is under construction. Builders have completed the last stage of the superstructure of the bridge over the Volga, the largest construction of the northern bypass of Tver on the M11 Neva. The multi-ton structure was moved at a distance of 122 meters and installed on the first of four pillars located on the opposite bank of the river. The bridge over the Aku is open. The southern bypass of Kazan is also open across the Volga on the M12 highway. A bridge across the Volga bypassing Talyadi is under construction. Work on the construction of the Talyadi bypass with a bridge over the Volga River is in the final stage. Now they are focused on the approaches to the bridge. The device of approaches will connect the constructed road and the bridge structure. Also, in the near future, bridge builders will begin installing the first expansion joint in the center of the bridge. There will be two of them in total. They will connect the reinforced concrete structure into a single hole. In parallel, work on laying the lower layer of asphalt starts on the bridge. The overall degree of readiness of the facility is 94%, according to the Ministry of Transport of the Samara region. A bridge over the Ob River in the Surgut area is under construction. The construction of the pillars of the new Surgut bridge over the Ob River has been completed. There are a total of 16 of them. The length of the bridge itself is 1.7 kilometers and the total bridge crossing with access roads is 45.5 kilometers. Information about the passage of an important construction stage was provided by the government of Ugra. According to published data, the readiness of the facility is almost 40%. In addition to the main structure, work is underway in parallel on three overpasses and four small bridges through the OPP. Workers work around the clock. 700 people and 300 pieces of equipment are involved in the sites every day. The plans for this year are to complete the excavation of the future highway and begin its asphalting. Also to finish the construction of small bridge structures. The completion of the large-scale construction is scheduled for 2025. The bridge over the Ob River in Novosibirsk is under construction. Currently, the existing front of work in conditions of limited financing is located deep in the construction site. 268 workers and 48 engineering and technical personnel are employed at the construction site. Recall that the ferry with all adjacent transport facilities, interchanges, overpasses, and tunnels should be put into operation. The developer planned for December 23rd, but the deadlines were postponed due to money problems. The bridge over the Yenisei River north of Krasnoyarsk is open. The bridge over the Daya in the Amur region is open. A bridge over the Kama River bypassing Nabrezny Chelny is under construction. This bridge over the Kama River, as part of the construction of the Nizhnikamsk and Nabrezny Chelny bypass, is at a stage where technical readiness is 50%. This bridge with a length of 1.3 kilometers is a key element of the Kazanya Katerinburg Tumen high speed route. The work is carried out within the framework of the national project Safe and High Quality Roads. At the moment, the stage of sliding the metal structure has been completed by 65%, and the construction of channel supports has been completed by 65%. The bridge will be installed on 22 supports, of which 15 belong to the overpass and 7 to the riverbed. The construction of riverbed supports, which began in October 2022, is in the final stage. All seven pillars have already been built, 
and the painting work on three of them has been completed by 95%. The construction of the trestle supports is also close to completion. It remains to complete the concreting of the support posts after dismantling the slipway. The work on the bridge span over the comma was completed by 35%, with the installation of 270 meters of metal structure on the 7th, 6th, and 5th pillars. The total length of the span will be 792 meters, and the weight is more than 11,000 tons. It is planned to complete all work by the end of 2024. The bridge over the Yuda in Ulan Yud is under construction. The main structure of the bridge is already ready. This year, it is planned to complete its construction, install railings, supports, lighting, as well as asphalt concrete pavement. In addition, the builders will have to arrange three transport interchanges, three overpasses, including a tunnel under the railway. The bridge over the Kuban River in Krasnodar is open. The VIS Group also began preparations for the start of the main stage of work on the construction of a bridge over the Lena River in Yakutia. Currently, in the area of the village of Staraya Tabaga on the left bank of the river, the sand base of technological site number one with an area of over 15 hectares is being poured. The work is carried out around the clock. Out of 250,000 cubic meters of sand, 25,000 have already been poured out. Special equipment is involved in the work. The bridge over the Lena River is a three-pillar cable-stayed system with girder trestles on the approaches. The height of the central pylon is 284.5 meters. The length of the main channel spans is 2 by 840 meters. The number of lanes is 2. The height of the side pylons is 194.5 meters. Also, now there is very often talk about the expediency of building a bridge to Sakhalin which they decided to build. Let's give one example. Recently, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the construction of BAM. How they praised this road, they just licked it from all sides, so to speak. And this is what BAM gives us and this, and without him, it would be so bad for us to live. It has come to the point that the presence of BAM from a strategic point of view is compared with the presence of nuclear weapons in Russia. And don't think about it. I'm not going to expose these allegations at all. On the contrary, I want to join them. BAM is the heritage and pride of Russia. However, we remember perfectly well that in the 90s BAM had a completely different reputation. That's just completely different. It was believed that BAM was a completely failed project, unnecessary, and even destructive. That, they say, the stupid Soviet government did not know what to do well and took up such nonsense as the construction of the BAM. I spent a lot of money, resources, health, and even the lives of builders simply because of tyranny in order to prove something to someone and show off my achievements to the world. It was argued that there is no benefit from BAM and there can be no benefit there is simply nothing to carry on it. And now, in 2024, Putin speaks out and says that the BEM is too narrow and it is urgently necessary to expand it in order to increase the capacity of the road. That is, there were not just loads for BEM. There were so many of them that BEM simply could not cope, suffocated. Why am I doing this? Now many people say that the bridge to Sakhalin is an unnecessary and useless thing. Well, what to carry on it? It will never pay off. The island is not developed. There is almost nothing there. Why there is a bridge and so on. So. Remember these words, when the bridge to Sakhalin is built and some time will pass, it will become obvious to everyone that Russia cannot develop normally without this bridge. By the way, the same story happened with the Crimean Bridge, about which stories were spread that it was useless and would never pay off. And now we see that this is not only the road of life for the peninsula and more than 2 million of its inhabitants, but also the same pride and wealth as BAM. Well, I also want to tell you about one bridge, only a railway one. Well. Tell us a little about this new railway itself. For a long time, the construction of a railway line to the Labna port under construction in the Murmansk region was slowed down for various reasons. However, after long delays by ministries and departments, the strong word of the president of Russia accelerated the construction of a new railway line, Labna said. In December last year, a working movement was launched along this path, and the builders did a seemingly unthinkable job, built a branch line in a short time and in extreme conditions. Labna is a strategically important port for Russia. It will open access to new export markets to the countries of the Asia-Pacific region. The construction of this facility is being carried out by the state transport leasing company GTLK, which plans to complete all work this year. Labna is a unique site in the northwest of the country, which opens up unhindered exports for Russian goods. From the port, there is free access to the world ocean, neutral waters. The Danish and Black Sea Straits cannot interfere with us here. Two more advantages of the port. Firstly, the depth, there is no need for any dredging, is already 15 meters offshore, which will allow us to receive large tonnage vessels. Secondly, this port is not freezing, unlike the Gulf of Finland. Recall that the Northern Sea Route has a huge advantage. It is shorter than the Southern Route through the Solskai Canal by about 10 days. Without a new port, it would lose some of its meaning, 
because the Lavna will allow to reorient a significant part of the cargo to Russian ports and develop trade relations with Asia, without fear that the ports will not be able to accept ships with a large draft. In order for the Lavna port under construction in the Mormonsk region to become not only one of the important infrastructure facilities in Russia, but also a key transport hub in the north of the country, it is necessary to create a railway approach, a branch line, and a Lavna outlet. Until a few years ago, it was impossible to believe. The project was launched in 2014, but its implementation was periodically frozen for various reasons. A change of contractor, the coronavirus epidemic, a decrease in financing, and, of course, the difficulties of the Lavna port itself, which is on the road, because for a long time there was no clarity about the concessionaire and the declared cargo base. And so the governor even had to address the president directly. The project received a boost after the president's words at the end of 2022. As a result, the Russian government instructed Russian railways to complete the construction as soon as possible. At that time, the readiness was at the level of 55%. To accelerate construction, 21.5 billion rubles have been allocated from the federal budget in 2023. Rubles, and in 2024, an outflow of 16 billion is expected. Rubles. So, in April 23rd, workers of the Octia Berskaya Road laid the first 300 meters of the way to the Lavna port under construction in the Mormonsk region, on the Murmashi Pave section. And the work began with such force that the splinters flew. The total length of the railway tracks from the exit station to the Lavna station will be 49 kilometers 700 meters, including three stations, two traction substations, 11 new bridges, as well as two tunnel-type road overpasses. As the governor of the Mormonsk region said, I quote, there were doubts that we would be able to cope by the end of the year, but the heroic feat of builders and railway workers and the road is ready. In December 2023, the start of movement on the new branch was given. In 2024, it will be fully put into operation. Thus, the annual railway carrying capacity of the approaches to Mormonsk will reach 45 million tons, and the direction of the future Lavna coal terminal will be 18 million tons per year. Undoubtedly, the work of the builders who implemented the project in such a short time, in the most difficult conditions, deserves praise. And look at the beautiful bridges they built there. 